Hey guys, it's Roscoe, so let's continue on with the art of The Last Jedi. <clears throat> the less said about this scene, the better, I think. This was completely unnecessary, and just a bit icky as well. One of those bizarre decisions Ryan Johnson made. Here we see the Unetti tree, uh, another concept for the village, I guess, uh, as are these. Various tree concepts down at the bottom. The tree and its possible interiors, again similar to what we actually see in the movie. The library with some of the various texts, the books here are very very nice and obviously um, we see uh, some of these I think in the visual dictionary as well. <coughs> Designs for the Temple Courtyard, I guess, with the, um, was it the first Jedi, I think it was called, and that one shows, like, a Unetti tree symbol, which obviously becomes the Resistance symbol. More of the Temple, and Akuto. I like this one, this is good. And this, again, similar to what we see. More of the island. This was the race third lesson that we didn't get to see because you can see Chewie and R2 there. And there she is with Luke. How about that cavern? Ah, uh, it's interesting concept, her being half Kylo. That's like the ultimate Ray Low, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Some more from the island. That looks like the falcon speeding off with Luke there as well. Yes, it is, although I don't actually see Luke on there. I thought he was. And there he is, watching it speeding off into the distance. The falcon. Kylo in front of the hangar. The Supremacy and its fleet. That was an awful lot of Star Destroyers. And here we see several designs for it. The droid designs. The medical droid and various iterations of Kylo. This one where he is Bob. Shave my head, rather. Luke and Kylo, and here's young Kylo. Here's the temple on fire. And some designs for his ship. The silencer. And there it is in action. So going back to the glare. So that's where we shall pause this and continue in the next part.